Hi there, it's Joe of Gojira and you're watching the Guitar Mania channel. Cheers, enjoy. Joe, welcome to Vienna. It's a Th pleasure to you. have you in the Austrian capital at Rock in Vienna. Yes, that's how, awesome. How it's raining right now and I'm pretty sure you can hear it. <laughs> yes. But when you played this afternoon, the weather was fine. Was great, great show. Did you enjoy it? I loved it. I loved it, really. We had a lot of fun. It's the beginning um, of the cycle, really, for me. In a long time, we haven't played live, maybe 10 months. So it's kind of a new uh, cycle starting now. And uh, we played just six shows so far or something around that. And this one was the best for me. Mm -hmm. Vocally, I, I start to feel a little better. Because it's really difficult and physical to scream right. in tune. It's a challenge. Okay, we, we just had a power outage. Tamash, maybe you can just show our improvisation. Okay, just talking about the, 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 the show today that you played. Um, any, do you do any particular exercise for your uh, voice? Is there yes. something? Yeah. I go... Uh, okay. You want me to go on? Or? No, no, not really. Okay. <laughs> so it's, it's 25 minutes mm -hmm. today uh, because it's still the beginning of the tour. I did it two times, so almost an hour. Like, okay. A bit, a bit less than an hour, 45 minutes of uh, warm-up for my vocals. What about the guitar? Do you warm up on the guitar? You know, uh, I don't warm up on the guitars that, that much. Uh, when I do, it's better, of course. And Christian and Jean-Michel are warming up a lot, a great deal. Mm. But that's all they do, and my, my uh, main concern is the vocals. Okay. Uh, but you know, just give me a guitar, pick up a guitar, and I don't even warm up. Really? Fuck that shit. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, you, you've got a new album with you uh, that will be released soon. And when, by the time this interview will be published, it will have been released uh, by the title of Magma. Yes. Can you talk a bit about that? Um, yeah, of course. There's what, so what, much to say. I don't know how what, to start. What, let's start with the title. Why the title? Magma. Uh, you know, I don't know. You know, things uh, come to us like that magically out of the vacuum of space. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> magma is the magma. I don't know. When we gave that title, it made total sense. We were in a difficult time of our lives. Um, and, uh, and at the same time, a wonderful time. It was both mixed and it created this vortex of energy inside for both my brother and me mm -hmm. and, and the other uh, two bandmates too actually. It was a, such a, it was an intense moment of our lives and, and we had that magma of emotions inside okay. pretty much. That's what it is really. How long did it, did it take you to write the songs for the new album and how long did you then record really? I want to say two years you know to uh, write all the songs and we, we wrote more songs and dump, you know, maybe uh, the two third of all these songs, and we kept just the core of okay. what we thought was the best. Okay. What, how, how does quality control work and function uh, with Gojira? How oh man, we're so. Uh, it's such a nightmare. You know, one day we're super happy with a new uh, thing we did, and then we both listen to it at home, and we come back and say, out. You know, <laughs> pretty. Uh, sometimes it's good, but on the long run, after two or three weeks, we realize, oh my God, this is so depressive. We need to get rid of that <laughs> okay. song or, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it takes a while to find the, um, the treasure, you know? Mm -hmm. it, takes a, it's, it takes a long time. People are like, oh my God, you're so slow. Four years before you release a record. We're like, you know what? You need time to really do something. Like bands releasing albums every year. They're either like geniuses or this something I don't understand, <laughs> or it's not good. You know what I mean? Mm. It's uh, you, you got to take the time. So that's what we did. It was very uh, rough. We're so hard on the songs, poor songs, man. We're like, <laughs> and at the end, I don't know if it's better or worse. You know, sometimes it's good to be spontaneous and really songs like that. How do you think have you evolved from your last record to Magma now in the, over the last four years? Uh, gracefully, I think. Yeah, I think we did uh, evolve pretty good because we kept the, the anger and the, the hunger and uh, we added um, a bit of um, maturity or mm -hmm. um, 
we feel more comfortable with our craft and uh, we're not scared of what people will say or think, you know. You have a great reputation. Whenever we talk to our colleagues today and yesterday and they asked us, who are you doing interviews with? And we said, yeah, these and them and Gojira and everyone. Wow, Gojira, fantastic. Oh, cool, man. And it's really like you have a great reputation. And uh, I think that's, that's, that's really something special. And particularly uh, with the new album, the first single that you have released and the video, uh, I wanted also to ask you a bit if you could talk about a bit the meaning of the video that you uh, just released. Yes, uh, yes, Silvera. Uh, well, first of all, we wanted something that was really uh, energetic and fun and uh, with a lot of movements because we've had a lot of videos. Uh, oh my God, this rain, it's crazy. Uh, we, we've had, we, we, all the videos we do in general are very artsy, black and white. We wanted something that, you know, punches people in a different way, like, wow, more colors and movement. But the video is uh, matching the lyrics mm. of the song and uh, it's about changing oneself to change the world. You know, this big idea, let's change the world. Can it be done? Uh, yes, sure, it can. Yeah. You have just have to change yourself, my friend. You're, you're a very <laughs> optimistic and positive person. No, it's just science. Mm. Because you're part of this world. So if you change, therefore, the world changed. You know what I mean? Like it's, uh, nor it's like it's just logic. Yeah, and and it's it's just a point of view on things. If you if you're a better self one day, then you will interact with people in a better way, and then it's it can I don't know. I'm 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 trying to do that in my life. It's a big work. It's a life lifetime work probably. I don't know. But when you really uh, change for the better, you help people around you, and you have an impact on things, and mm -hmm. more than we think. Sometimes, for example, we complain that we use too much plastic or too much uh, uh, the, the meat industry right mm. is a terrible thing well don't buy meat if you think it's terrible look into your heart and uh, and and ask yourself you know is that right to buy all this fucking dead meat you know mm. that we we cut animals and we put them in the store and then blah, 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 we eat it like that most people they look at this truth in the eyes mm. they're like they vomit People don't want to see that. Mm. That's what the song is about. Mm. Okay. I'm trying to look at these things. Yeah, uh, this reminds me a bit of uh, of a saying that I heard the other day: uh, change the way you look at things, and the things you look at change. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's another way to put it, I guess. Yeah. 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 Uh, can we go a bit more into detail, like uh, into the the nerdy stuff uh, of the? Can we talk a bit about the equipment that you use? The guitar that we saw today, is that also the one that you used uh, in the studio, for instance? Yes, yes, I use, uh, it's my signature model, mm -hmm. uh, Charvel. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, it's my dream guitar, you know, for the music we play. And uh, I, was, I was really lucky to work with Jackson, Fender, Charvel, this team. It's kind of the same team uh, in LA. And we designed that uh, signature model, Charvel. Um, and we're releasing a, a cheaper version, okay. so uh, uh, so people could have that guitar, that shape, that uh, thinking, that dynamic, that same kind of uh, pickups and stuff, but with cheaper material to make it. Because otherwise, it's a, it's a pretty expensive guitar. What 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 was your, what was it that you were looking for in that guitar? What were the key requirements that you that you wanted to have? Uh, a certain um, shape. I wanted the telly shape. <laughs> I was really uh, obsessed with the telly. But, so I grabbed a few tellies on tour and tried to play live, but um, it's very difficult. So I had to, to recreate another guitar, a metal guitar that could really roar like a metal guitar and not just like go crazy feedbacks all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, that has that classy shape. And uh, I'm not a, a big technician, but I, I worked with all these guys and they, they showed me the way. and. Uh, and uh, Taylor Bingley here, right here, our tour manager slash guitar tech slash light guy tonight, um, <laughs> is uh, helping me also to come up with uh, the right terms when I want to achieve mm. something. How many guitars do you have on tour with you? Right now we have... 13 total, that includes basses. Okay, yeah. 13? Yeah. Wow, that's a lot. And do you collect... Sorry, 14. Yeah. 14. Yes. Do you collect guitars? Not really, but 
I don't sell my guitars. I don't give my guitars. I, I like to keep them. And uh, I have very old beat up guitars that uh, mm. I cannot get rid of, but I don't collect them really. In terms of like when you when you grow grew up and who who was the most important influence for your style of playing? James Hetfield, I think. Okay. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah, I think I know. It's James Hetfield. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He was a big inspiration. I wanted to be him growing up. Really? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So and how? So I take it you you studied Metallica songs, Master of Puppets, Right Lightning, and stuff, and uh, and you really played them then to the record, or how did you like learn the? Yeah, guitar? exactly like that. Yes. Uh, playing along, you know, with a classical guitar, shitty classical guitar. That's you all I had. You played with the classical guitar, Metallica. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. I learned Metallica, Sepultura with the uh, with what I had yeah, at the time when I was a kid. Yeah. Really? Yeah. At what age did you start playing? Pretty late, actually. Uh, I was 13, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, before that, I was playing piano, and then I started to play guitar. Mm -hmm. And do, do you still practice, or is there still something like that you would like to to achieve as a guitar player uh, I don't have that pretension I don't I don't see myself as a guitar I'm a guitar player but I'm not a guitarist or okay. something like that you know it's a like means a, to a, yeah yeah it's a tool for me for to, mm. yes I'm not a, I'm not a great uh, player really I, I can play clean I can play tight you know but I, I, I'm not the typical shredder or mm. whatever any final words like words of wisdom for Young aspiring musicians, bands that want to make it professionally work. as musicians. You have to work. That's all. That's all there is. Work, work, work. And don't complain. Fair enough. Thank you so okay. much. Okay.